Nazi-like, uh, Stalinistic, uh, totalitarian mindset of they own you and they will kill you and take anything they want from you. You know, and they will do it in whatever manner fits that moment. Yes. Uh, you know, it's no longer knocking the door, ma'am. I, I I have some information. Could I could I ask you about it? Uh, nothing like that anymore. And, ladies and gentlemen, this is real. This is as real as it gets. It's happening across the country. You must have your plan in place to deal with this, whether it's under duress from a false flag event, some other kind of event. It's a natural event. Whatever it is, it will come so quickly. It will be like the proverbial scriptural thief in the night. You will be taken before you even know what has happened to you. And and that is is something you cannot leave to chance or fate. Hawk, can we say it any more strongly? I don't think so. I'll tell you, you know, Paul Craig Roberts, who is Reagan's a deputy or assistant secretary of treasury, a brilliant economist who was, you know, in that position in the Reagan administration, he said today, he said, we're going to lose the reserve currency status, the dollar is going to collapse, huge collapse in the living standards. It'll mean the ability of, of the government to try to stay in, you know, in any kind of control. Therefore, they will devote all their resources to the police, the intelligence agencies, the military. And he says, do you Americans think that the police, the FBI, and that kind of scenario are really going to protect you? Think again. He said, they're there primarily, and he acknowledged that there's good people. He said, they're there primarily to protect the government, all right, That's right. That's and the right. politicians and the big wigs, and he said that what will happen is, is that there will be because of all the collapse of the economy, a weaker, poorer uh, public, less able to resist, and they're trying to crush the rebellion before it starts. And he said there will be a less restrained government. That's a polite way of saying that the Nazis... Well, it's absolutely self-preservation, Hawk. The government must, even to the tune of the IRS, they will maintain government above all else. And if that means cutting all of us loose as American citizens, that's obviously what they will do. They're planning for that, and the confrontation stage is just to eliminate the most uh, uh, committed of us that will resist that kind of treatment. And so it, it, it's all fitting in, it's all dovetailing in, and I'll say one more time, Hawk, uh, if they haven't been able to do anything else, then please consider this almost 400-page manual that you can put on your shelf, it's red-covered, and it will give you everything uh, ten times over what we've done anywhere else. And go down the outline and start to do whatever you can. That's exactly right, and do it now. Urgency is the watchword, people, that is the key. And I'll tell you this, um, it's just not me or Greg, it's Salente, it's uh, Paul Craig Roberts, it's uh, all kind of different people who really see what's going on. And now, they, today, Greg, precisely one reason they want to do this, because there were two million people in the street in the tax uh, protest, Tea Party protest today at over a thousand locations. That well, scares the Luciferian Illuminati to death. That's it. Uh, I couldn't agree more. Hawk, it's always a pleasure to be with you, a privilege. You're my brother and heart through life. Thank you so very much. Best to you, folks. Do what you can. Get ready. Folks, get his uh, castle defense plan. Get it now if you can and start to implement it. And that website is one more time, Greg? TheHeartlandUSA.com All right, brother, I'll see you, and uh, take care and stay in touch, and let me know anything that comes up now, all right? I will. Okay, buddy, bye-bye. Now, folks, I'm just going to tell you, you had better be getting food, water purification, firearms, and thousands and thousands of rounds of ammunition. If you do not have money, as many of us do not anymore, and uh, I'm in just as much a problem with that as many people are, you, you, you know, whether you believe it or not. And the thing is, ladies and gentlemen, is that pretty soon this is all going to erupt to be upon us, particularly if this deal has been cut to allow the Chinese to do an EMP or to do some kind of a nuclear false flag attack on one or multiple cities or areas of this country, and then the resulting martial law from that, and they're going to close these banks. So Lenny said they'll close the banks. And then you remember when Steve... Uh, and I brought forth the information. I wrote it in the talent about how your bank, uh, the uh, you know, the amount you'd be able to take out after some period of time, unspecified, would be smaller. Well, Salente said they're going to limit what you can get out, and they're going to also it'll be totally devalued. 
Ladies and gentlemen, pay heed also to what he talked about on this new sophisticated uh, 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 flashing light device. I call it the puke light that totally incapacitates you. Heed that warning. And to the brother who had a question about helicopters, all I can say to the brother is, find out where they gas up at. Ladies and gentlemen, do not go into this Luciferian night undefended. Stand for the Lord Jesus. Repent of your sin. Be willing to stand for him and the Bill of Rights and your family. Good night to them old Fandango Rangers, wherever you may be. I know your katana is sharp and your K-bar is too. And to the mighty men and women of valor, may you bring the fire down on those evil ones in whatever capacity that the Lord will allow you to do, because I know you stand with the Lord Jesus and for the Bill of Rights and Constitution. America, do not go into this Luciferian night without a fight. God bless you all.